school that I went to was um, a boarding school for uh, persons with disabilities, physical disability. And um, when we closed schools for holiday, none of my parents could come to pick me up because they were so, I, I can understand now, but um, I know they were, they were so feeling this guilt that we have a disabled person, with a, which is a sign of bad omen. Um, um, on my tertiary level, that is university, from my family, I'm the one who did very well from secondary school. I got a straight A. I got straight A's. None of my siblings have ever gotten that. And uh, even um, getting university admission was quite an uphill task because we really had to do this back and forth trying to convince my parents that, look, George has to go to school for him to be um, a reasonable person in the community. But generally, persons with disabilities out here are regarded lowly, especially in this country. We are looked at as uh, second-class citizens. We are not given any opportunity to voice our concerns. So uh, we really must fight for e even three minutes of time to, 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 to address our issues to the policy makers or the opinion shapers. We need youth with disabilities to be proactive and very, very innovative. We do not wait for people to have board meetings for us and tell us now we want to do awareness, blah, blah, blah. We appreciate that, but it's now our time for us to rise and shine.